Hi, I'm Christina with Meet Chicago Northwest, and today we're here to meet Schweiker House in Schaumburg, Illinois. So we've just entered the studio area, and I am with Todd Wanger. He is the executive director of the Schweiker House Preservation Trust. Todd, can you just tell us a little bit about the history of Schweiker House? Schweiker House was uh, designed and built by avant-garde modernist architect Paul Schweiker in 37, completed in 38, and he was the original owner. This was his residence as well as his studio space. So we're in the studio space now where he worked with his apprentices as he moved his operations out of Chicago. This became his new uh, home for his business. Subsequently, it was purchased by the Langsdorfs in 1953 and uh, noted physicist Alexander Langsdorf and his wife Martil who was a famous artist uh, both lived here uh, from 53 until uh, Martil passed away last year. One of the reasons they really liked the house was Martil was a painter as you know and she saw this space with all the natural light as being fantastic for her painting. Paul Schweiker became influenced a lot by Mies van der Rohe and a lot of the Bauhaus design. Very modern, clean lines that you'll see in the house, um, as well as some Japanese influences. We are in the kitchen at Schweiker House. Todd, tell us a little bit about the unique features of the kitchen. Great. When Schweiker designed this kitchen, one of his ideas was to create a room where everything was visible. So he has these open shelving concept where you can just grab something off the shelf. You can see exactly where uh, your bowls, utensils, cooking ingredients, all those kinds of things are located for easy access for the homeowner. I also understand there's a very unique bowl in this kitchen. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Right, there is a unique bowl. Um, you'll see the shot. It's a granite bowl that was used uh, in the Manhattan Project as part of their experiments. It was uh, Alexander Langsdorff's um, sort of gift for throwing the best parties. They used it as a punch bowl in later years, so that's kind of an interesting uh, feature of the home. In the living room, we have, well, in fact, the whole house is only designed using uh, brick, glass, and wood. So just three elements. And so what we have is a lot of horizontal elements. So there's a lot of real refined proportions that he laid out in particular in this room. Behind me we have this massive fireplace which is really an iconic piece for the home. Created out of common sewer brick, or Chicago brick, um, often used on the backs of houses or the sides of row homes downtown. Schweiker takes this element and uses it front and center right on this massive fireplace. And the brick in the fireplace follows right down across the floor and goes out to the patio. And that was one of Schweiker's real unique concepts for this house, this duality of inside-outside that works so well. Todd, tell us about the Schweiker House Preservation Trust so people know what you're doing with this wonderful house. We have, uh, we have an organization that's been established um, in conjunction with the village of Schomburg and we have a, a group of individuals who are committed to really preserving this home and um, educating the public about Schweiker and the Langsdorfs and their contribution um, in this area. So we also have tours at the home. You can check out our website at www.schweikerhouse.org uh, for more on events and details that are upcoming. Excellent. Thank you so much for spending the afternoon with us and taking us around Schweiker House. From Christina at Meet Chicago Northwest, see you soon.